Hello everyone and welcome to a very special episode of ETC. My name is Kale Anonymous and for about a year I've been giving you entertainment tech and culture news. But it is that time of year where we get to find out which was the best and maybe some of the worst of the year. We call this the Legitimate Entertainment Super Badass Outrageous Award Show or Lesboas. Lesboas. Okay, never mind. We're going to call this the Awardees. The CNETC, of course, stands for culture, and we start off with culture, which is pretty much that sticky little substance released from the internet that holds our lives together. Uh, please try to keep your mind out of the gutter as we continue. And the nominees for Best Meme of the Year are Sad Keanu, Cigar Guy, Forever Alone, and Strutting Leonardo DiCaprio. Now in the end, all of these had their moments, but it comes down to one lonely man and his deliciously depressing sandwich. We don't know what evil agents are at work in that poor head of yours, Keanu, but try not to give a fuck. It usually works out better, right, Leo? Now, viral videos make the days go by, and your friends send them to you, and they think they're funny, and you think they're funny, but only one can come out on top. Here are the nominees for the best viral video of the year. Epic Beard Man. Double Rainbow Guy. The Old Spice Guy. Miracles from Insane Clown Posse. Jesse Slaughter. And The Bed Intruder. The winner is the Gregory Brothers and the Bedroom Intruder for their addicting ghetto swan song. And thank you for correctly using auto-tune and also telling us which of our family members to hide. Now ETC is not ashamed to talk about video games, so we have a video game of the year category. Call of Duty Black Ops, Minecraft, Mass Effect 2, Halo Reach, Cataclysm, no wait, never mind, that doesn't count. It It'll never count. StarCraft 2 and Fallout New Vegas. And the awardee goes to Minecraft. Now, Minecraft is the little engine that could and seriously had a lot of competition this year, but it ultimately represents the pure heart and soul of gaming. Here are the nominees for Eye Candy of the Year. Megan Fox, Lady Gaga, Kim Kardashian, Scarlett Johansson, Christina Hendricks, Katy Perry. And the award for Eye Candy of the Year goes to Katy Perry. Yes, Katy's music isn't exactly the most tolerable thing. It's probably the same noise she makes if you were to, say, try to drown her. But it's hard to avoid these wonderful things that she has carrying in the front of her, even if she does look like a blow-up doll come to life. Tech is inescapable, and thankfully that isn't yet in reference to the robot uprising. So here are our tech categories. Cell phones are giving us horrible reception, poor social skills, and cancer, but they are pretty much amazing. Your nominees for best cell phone are the Epic 4G, the iPhone 4, Windows Phone 7, HTC Evo 4G, Droid X, and the winner for best cell phone of 2010 is none of them. They all have glaring problems and no single one rules them all, even though I think my iPhone 4 is my precious. The best app of the year nominees are Robot Unicorn Attack, Angry Birds Seasons, The Machinima App, Hipstamatic slash Vignette, and the Netflix app. And the winner of best phone app of the year goes to Robot Unicorn Attack because, well, here you go. Justin Bieber has worked his little boy ass off to woo little girls into falling in love with his hair helmet and the winner of the best Justin Bieber of the year award goes to this guy. Because it'll be a cold day in hell when I give a fucking award to Justin Bieber. See you in hell, Justin Bieber. See you in goddamn hell. God knows everybody's trying to create the newest and biggest tech, but 2010 was no exception. So here is the tech of the year nominees for 2010. The iPad, Google TV, 3D TVs, and the Connect and Move. And the winner of Best Tech of the Year goes to Google TV for bringing internet and television a little bit closer together. It's inevitable, but it's time to start. Would you want to win the iPad? Music is one of the only substances we don't mind having in our ears, and is sometimes something we are willing to pay for. The nominees for Album of the Year are Tron Legacy, Daft Punk, Crystal Castles, Crystal Castles. Interpol. Interpol. Plastic Beach. 
gorillas. Up on melancholy hills and a plastic tree. Recovery, Eminem. I can't tell you what it really is. I can only tell you what it feels like. And right now it's a steel knife in my windpipe. My Chemical Romance, the magnificent something, something, something. And the winner is, well, this is ETC, so the gorillas win. They always will. Television was once called the idiot box and is said to create a short attention span in the youth these days. That's dumb and boring, so here's some stuff. The nominees for best new television show are The Walking Dead, Terriers, which was canceled, so never mind. Boardwalk Empire, Children's Hospital, and Archer. And the winner for best new show, The Walking Dead. So best animated show nominees Venture Brothers, Metalocalypse, Futurama, and Archer. And the winner is The Venture Brothers. Best show of the year. The nominees are Lost, Breaking Bad, Sons of Anarchy, Dexter, Community, 30 Rock, It's Always Sunny in Philadelphia, The Desperate Housewives. <laughs> Just kidding. Is it why is why is that show still even on? And the winner is Breaking Bad. Now hopefully this category won't be on the list next year, but it was all the rage to be up and in the audience's grill with 3D. So here are the best 3D movies of the year. The nominees are Piranha 3D, Jackass 3D, and Tron. Is Tron for bringing the grid to life with impressive visuals and CG. Best animated film of the year goes to Toy Story 3. End of conversation. The surprise film of the year category is probably one of my very favorites. It's the one that you didn't think was going to be that great. You went to go see it and it blew your mind. 127 hours, Scott Pilgrim vs. The World, and The Social Network. This truly was a delightful movie with a great soundtrack and a lot of tension. It was about Facebook and I'm, it won something. The nominees for worst movie of the year are Saw 3D, Sex and the City 14 or, or 7 or, or 3 or 2, whatever it was, The Last Airbender, Devil, and Medea Goes to Jail, and Night Shyamala for The Last Airbender and Devil. Come on, man. Used to be good once. Chick Flick of the Year, Eat, Pray, Love, Valentine's Day, and Burlesque. And the winner is Eat, Pray, Love. Also, I forgot why we have this category, but congratulations, blah, blah, blah. The nominees for Best Movie of the Year are Toy Story 3, Inception, Scott Pilgrim, The Social Network, 127 Hours, The Town, and the winner of the Best Film of the Year is Inception. Because the film pushed our mental limits and because it told a story unlike any other that was released this year, Inception stands as the film that kept us talking, theorizing, and dreaming. Plus also this cool sound effect. And lastly, the most important award of the year belongs to cats, kittens, and females alike. Yes, you are watching ETC, so you knew this was a category. Here are the nom nom nominees for best cat video of the year. Patty Cake Cats, Standing Cat or Zorro Cat, Maru, Smaller Boxes, Professor Meowington Enables Hacks HD, OMG Cat, Cat Hugging Teddy Bear, iPad Keyboard Cat, iPad Keyboard Cat. Look, I'm kind of biased on this one because uh, iPad Keyboard Cat is my cat and surely I owe her this after making her go through this. Well, that's all we have for you this time, guys. Thanks for joining us on the first annual awardees. We'll be seeing you on January 6, 2011 to celebrate one year of ETC. Hey, YouTubers, stuck in rocks. What's happening? I hacked the mainframe and was able to break in and interrupt the session at ETC. <laughs> Sorry for being gone for so long. My stepdad broke my Xbox. I was pissed. Anyway, I'm back. 
And we're gonna be back next year in 2011. We're rocking it out with you. Kisses, missus. <clears throat>